Hey, what's up everyone? It's HitboTC here and today we're going to talk about the Pirate Emporium and what that means for the future of Sea of Thieves. Let's go. The Pirate Emporium is here and I am so excited. Now I know a lot of you out there are gonna say, hey, microtransactions are a bad thing for the Sea of Thieves and you're gonna have a very negative view on this new move for the Pirate Emporium that Rare is doing. But let's just take a step back and really look at what it is and what this means for Rare. Now since launch of the game, Rare has done a year and and more of updates for the game. And they've really changed it from the beginning when they launched to where it is today. And we couldn't be more excited for it. There's so much that they've added and this has all been free updates and they're planning to do a ton more free updates in the future. So with that being said, when, when you're looking at it in a way as, as a community, how do we support Rare, the developers of Sea of Thieves, one of the best games that we've come across in a long time, how do we continue to support them in the future? Well, the best way that we can support them is with something like the Pirate Emporium. And man, look at what they've put together here. You are gonna be able to buy emotes, you're gonna be able to buy pets, you're gonna be able to buy some exclusive cosmetics, all just cosmetics. These are all things that, that don't give your character a boost in some way that makes it OP. There's no way that you're gonna be able to buy your way to being the best PvP person out there or being, they're, they're just not gonna do it. Joe even promised that he will never allow a cosmetic or a purchase that you can do on the Pirate Emporium to give your character some edge in some way in a competitive way. It's just not going to happen. So when I look at it as the Cursed Captain, when I look at what they're doing with the Pirate Emporium, I'm just excited because Rare has created one of the most lovable games I've ever played in my life and has allowed so many experiences and adventures to happen with this game that they've put together. And with the Pirate Emporium here, it's a way that we can, as a community, help support Rare going forward. Now I know some of you out there are gonna completely disagree with me and that's okay, and that's totally fine. When I look at the Pirate Emporium, I just look at a way that I can support Rare and almost thank them for all this work that they've done and at the end get some really cool stuff. I mean who doesn't want a pet parrot? Who doesn't want a monkey? I mean there's some good stuff here. These emotes look great. I can't wait to use the coin flipping emote to make decisions on the seas whether a, a swabby will live or die. I mean there's so much that you can do with it that I am super excited for. Now last but not least Let's pay our respects to John for what happened right here on stream. That spawned alongside yeah, a the ones that come out of the water. Right? Yeah, they yeah, spawned yeah. up alongside a ship and attacked you instantly. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> Turn the camera. That, that is what we expected to happen. To be perfect. <laughs> it's a little bit on your face. Is it? Yeah. And then, so I can talk and then to you just off here. Do you want me to get a shot? <laughs> <laughs> what was it about children and animals, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, that, I don't even, if a monkey puked on me, I don't even, and he puked on him twice. So, you know, kudos to John for really just going out there and really making it, it an effort to sell pets here on, on this stream. Uh, just another one of those re reminders of why we love Rare. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. I just wanted to do a quick recap video of the stream today and just get the information out there. Pirate Emporium is here. You can purchase pets, you can purchase emotes, and you can get some exclusive cosmetics, and they'll be refreshing that store as it goes. There's also in the world a random skeleton. It's almost like a loot goblin from Diablo 3 that will appear that if you kill it, it will give you ancient coins that you can use to purchase stuff from the store. So guys, I mean, this is good. This is a good move for the Sea of Thieves, the game. This is a way that it will continue to get support. It'll continue to get what it needs, the resources it needs for Rare to keep doing what they do best, which is making an amazing game. That's it for me. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do. It really helps when you do that. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll never miss a new video.